Cuba honors national hero Jose Marti on the occasion of the 169th anniversary of his birth, which is being celebrated in a special year-long schedule of events beginning this January 28th until the same date in 2023. The island's youth spoke to Telesur about the relevance of Marti's ideas. Let's take a look. In times of intense political debates, media warfare and destabilization attempts, what is Jose Marti's place in the minds of the Cuban people? For your own little Maria Pich, in Marti's life and works, one can find a stronghold for keeping up with the country's reality. Such as, for example, his critical view of mercantilization, humankind's objectification, his criticism centered on not caring for your neighbor, and he goes beyond that criticism and offers solutions. He submits a project for changing that reality. We depend on each other. Being excellent to each other should always be a trend, honesty, decency. Cuba is going through a process of heated ideological disputes. Both those who defend the revolutionary project and those who oppose it take Marti's words for their causes. This young follower of his ideas warns of the need of studying his thoroughly in order not to fall into manipulative narratives. With everyone, for the well-being of everyone, is an example of this kind of manipulation stratagem. Marti speaks of people who cannot be included in this formula of triumphant love. Marti speaks of racist people of xenophobes, of people who would say today are neo-fascists, fundamentalists, extremists. He says those people cannot be included in the new society's project. He says so of demagogue politicians, of opportunistic and unscrupulous people who are in important positions and manipulate citizens and reality to their own advantage. He denies these people any change of getting their way. All of these so-called leaders or executives who do not identify with or think like the people they supposedly represent. In the small imprint of the campaign El Guano Libre, the free Cuban of the recently inaugurated Fidel Castro Center, sculptures of Marti are being made. The passers-by who arrive these days in the institution following the patriot's footsteps soon pick up on keys for understanding the professor's thought in dire times. I think the biggest challenge the Cuban Revolution faces today is managing a consensus in the consolidation of the socialist project, which ought to be plural, according to Marti's ideals of unity, but at the same time cannot divert from the fundamental principles that make the revolution what it is. With enormous challenges ahead, 2022 begins for the Cuban people. Still fighting the pandemic, new alerts being cast out due to the new variant of the disease, and an economy that strives to improve after a disastrous fall amid urgent political debates in social networks and in the streets. There is much left to be said about the expectations and challenges right in the year when Cuba gets ready for the Conference for a Balanced World in 2023. The youth of the island speaks to Telesur. And this year is one that requires answers in the economy, an answer as a nation, an answer of courage, of faith, and hope in a better Cuba. This will come with our history, our background. We shall not repeat mistakes. The main challenge, what the media warfare is doing to our country, where we've jumped out against all these slanders and libels and fake news. We as the Cuban youth have spoken out against it, and we will fight it with love, truth, valid arguments and honor. In 1994, Cynthia Vitier, amid the full out Valceros crisis, said that Jose Martí was a true raft, the board of salvation for Cuba. That phrase has no expiration date. The board of salvation for this project is Martí because he represents the human being's creation, hope, kindness. This young lad sees it as an opportunity. Marti will be in books and sculptures so Cubans can carry him with him. The man who lived only 42 years left a legacy that remains infinite in depth to this day. Fabiola López, Telesur, La Habana.